Hi officials and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Shanice Louis and here on this channel, all of my subscribers are called my officials. To become an official, all you need to do is just hit that subscribe button and there you go. So this is my neglected Northless Braids, um, two weeks old to be exact. This, this is not cute, right? So we're going to basically, um, you know, refresh it so that we could look good, we could look alright, moving forward. So what we are going to need is water, coconut oil or oil of your choice, rubber bands, a comb and an edge control or hair jam or wax of your choice this is me spritzing my hair um, and I'm going to be honest I have neglected my hair I've not been moisturizing it I've not been adding oils nothing like that for two weeks straight so that this is just me you know taking care of my hair adding back some moisture to it so that it's gonna look good it's gonna feel good because neglecting your hair in protective styles is not the way to go this is a recipe for your hair being broken damaged and dull looking I forgot to show you all the um, hair wax I was going to use. This I bought this on my previous video, which is my haul. You would see where this is from. I'm going to link it in the top right hand corner right now. But you don't have to use this. You could use any um, hair wax or edge control like you're comfortable with using. So what you do is separate our edges or if you usually comb your edges with the rubber bands you go ahead and do that but I would not recommend it so we're um, redefining our separations removing our edges from the equation for now setting it aside and just with the hair wax just molding the hair into where it should be you know right into the plat that's what we're doing here so that when we're done you could actually see the separations and the hair could look as brand new like it was just done and this this re um i would say that refreshing your braids is something you can do like if you're trying to stretch your protective style or like you're not ready to remove it but it doesn't look as good it doesn't look as presentable or if you have like something last minute to do where you cannot remove the braids in on such short notice but you would like to look at least presentable you can go ahead and do this so what i like to do is add my oils to the rubber bands i saw this on a youtube video like a year ago and ever since i saw that I have always done it. Um, it just makes it a little easier on your hair. I use two rubber bands because sometimes one would just give away, give up, and just burst. So if you use two, you have double security so that if one would give up, you would have a ne an next one. Don't say you all didn't learn anything on this channel. <laughs> okay, I was experiencing some difficulties here because I was working with really long hair. <laughs> yeah, too long. So I decided to start over. You're just securing your roots, all the new growth that you held down with the edge wax or the edge control and you're just securing it with the rubber bands easily 
I'm just removing the excess. <laughs> the excess is um, hair wax. Um, and that's how you get the, the first one done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the back of camera and get back to you all when I'm ready to do the front. Wow, the back is horrible. I must say, it's horrible. Slip with your bonnet, guys. I did everywhere else. Now I'm just going to do the front so you guys can see how it is. This is so simple, and I mean, like, if you have your hair braided in any style, it can be fashion twist, box braids, not less. And if you really have somewhere to go and you can't get your hair done, this can be done in like 10 minutes. Um, depending on how business So I never put rubber bands on my videos. So I send them out. And I just use the edge control to save my I'm only doing this because I have made I'm only doing this because I have to use and I can't see someone else um, I do have a not less video to do after and probably tomorrow or the day after so I didn't wash my hair for this video this is like it's a quick fix because I need to get these videos recorded rubber bands Now this is me struggling to do my edges. Um, the hair wax dried really fast, so it was causing a problem for me. Um, so this is why I kept saying use um, whatever it is that you're used to using. Um, I like this hair wax, however it dries so quickly that you need to work fast. And it leaves a white cast after a while, 
but it does hold the edges so my solution for the white cast is just add oil on top of it um, this is me just tying it down to secure those edges and to make it stay down so yeah I just tied it for like um, probably 10 minutes I went to eat after that <laughs> and you yeah, will see the end results in a bit so that was it for the video quick easy and anyone can do it so if you're looking to refresh your braids not less regular box braids fashion twists butterfly looks whatever this is the quickest easiest way that i know um, i wasn't sure it was going to work out but i decided to record it and you're going to see it because it worked out um so yeah now i'm ready to go i can leave the house looking like this now trust me i would not leave the house how i was looking before i would probably put a cap so um stay tuned give the video a thumbs up for more hair videos um my next hair video is going to be a not less super jumbo long not less um it's probably going to be butt length like this one most likely so yeah um don't forget again to like the video if you have not subscribe if you are not and turn on your post notifications so you get notified every time a video goes up um i know when i watch videos and i see stacked necklaces i always wonder about them because i love stacked necklaces if you like to see a jewelry collection it will pop up right now so 